All right, guys, I'm Mitch Quist with Stone Coat Epoxy, and I'm going to be your host today creating 13 amazing countertop finishes out of Stone Coat Epoxy, starting out with soapstone. We want to replicate the actual thing here. I've installed thousands of square feet of soapstone, the real deal, holy field there as a granite installer. And this one's real simple to make using black and white dye and some Stone Coat Epoxy. We sell all these projects as a kit over at Stone Coat Countertop, so don't forget to check those out if one of these finishes tickles your fancy. Next up is an exotic pour, a dirty pour using some, uh, this is caramel marble, guys. I use brown dye, diamond dust, white dye, and pour all those back in a bucket. Pour them out into your countertop for an instant countertop finish. Uh, next up is a black marble using black metallic, black dye, white metallic. You're going to put that on your board, hand meld it, hit it with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. What that does is that fractures and sells the material uh, for a real natural look. A real dark color, but very pretty. The next countertop up is Black Galaxy. This is a popular vanity. Uh, goes very good in bathrooms. Uh, I installed a lot of this in the in the real world as well, both epoxy and natural. Oh, that ain't natural stone. That is quartz. Uh, guys, another countertop up. I'm showing you very popular, our most installed countertops. This is a exotic dark marble using, you know, the the dark black mica and black dye to create a very pretty natural piece where you pour it right out of that bucket. I don't know the name of this one. Again, mix the epoxy, add your colors, pour those into a bucket and pour them right over your countertop. We're using ex a little extra material, so that's why we put a tape dam around the perimeter of our project. That holds all that epoxy in place until it thickens up and then goes over. Next up is an earth tone exotic pour. Pretty, I got some copper, I got some dark bronze, I got some black dye, a little white dye in there. It's a hand milled piece. This is about layering, folks. You put down your base colors, you add in some accents little by little, add in some alcohol. The more you layer, sometimes the prettier that piece can be. And no need to rush. Stone Coat Epoxy has a very long open working time, so um, this isn't like the stuff you can get from across the pond uh, that stinks up the entire neighborhood and you can't even read the instructions. This is Made in America. It is formulated for the do-it-yourselfer. Quality lasts long, very durable, and renewable. Check us out, guys. StoneCoatCountertops.com. Ooh, one of my favorites. A blue fractured granite. Whenever you added blue into a natural stone, the price tag nearly doubled, uh, quadrupled. Van Gogh granite. That's not what we're looking here, but that stuff is real. Look it up. Fact check me. That stuff is five to six hundred dollars a square foot, and that's before you even cut it, fabricate it, install it. We supply all the additives you need. All you need to do is pick your color scheme, and we're going to send you everything you need from Stone Coat Epoxy to complete your project. We've got, you know, multiple techniques to create what you're after. The hand milled marble, anybody can do it. You're going to layer colors, melds with your hands. Also, the dirty pour, the exotic pour. That's just as easy. You're just tinting colors, pouring back in the bucket. And don't mix that bucket. Then you're going to pour that right out and let the epoxy do the hard work for you. But my go-to, you know, is that hand milled marble because I really like telling the epoxy where to go more than that a dirty pour. That dirty pour, you kind of just buckle up and <laughs> you're going to go. It's going to do what it does and you're going to accept it. And it's usually 99.9%. .9 of the time it turns out wonderful. Baltic Brown, guys, this is a very popular granite. I installed a ton of this stuff too. And how we replicate this is we mix copper and bronze mica powders into isopropyl alcohol. We miss that on the board. We let the alcohol dry, leaving behind just the beautiful metallics. Then we're mixing clear epoxy, slapping that over it, fogging with a spray paint, black gloss spray paint. And then there, the isopropyl alcohol opens it up and voila, instant Baltic brown countertops. All right, coming up here is another white marble. Put down that white base, 
coming in with some white metallic powders and a little bit of black guys remember black goes a long way and this is black metallic you can also use black dye for this step that black can really take over so remember a little goes a long way you can't take it out but you could put some white dye or white mica right on over that to to tone it down cover it up if that if you happen to add a little bit too black now we're going white marble dirty pour same colors folks but using a different technique mix them up back in the bucket instant countertop guys we got a green marble hand melt using uh, just some dark browns brown dye a couple shades of green we offer we send you everything and then it's up to you to let your creativity take over and the possibilities are truly endless you just vary the color ratio you get a different countertop every time that being said you want to match that countertop just uh, stay with those same color ratio piece after piece and that kitchen's gonna look like it's been sliced out of the same slab of granite remember from stone coke countertops y'all got this we'll see you on the next video